Hi friends, this is Angelica. Thanks for joining me here on the Greetery YouTube channel. Today I'm introducing two new products from the Calico Fields collection, and then we're going to put together these two cards. Let's start by taking a quick look at the new products. This is the new patchwork die, and we'll get into this die more in a couple minutes. But I first want to focus on the new print shop calico stamp and stencil set. So this is a red rubber background stamp, and it stamps a solid background with um, blank areas so you can stencil little flowers. So we're going to do a quick pan panel first. Um, I have the red rubber stamp already in my Misty, and I'm using Tailored Expressions Pink Champagne Ink. I made sure I had a really good impression on my panel before I removed it from the Misty. And now we're going to move on to the stenciling. I've got the panel already down on my Make Art Station and I'm starting with the first stencil. Now these stencils are really easy to line up with the blank spaces on the panel. I picked Raspberry Sorbet for the first layer. I'm doing a, just a quick wipe off of the stencil before removing it and showing you what the first stencil does. Now we're going to move on to the second stencil and this time I'm using Tailored Expressions Pineapple Ink. This second stencil fills in all the flowers. The ink colors that I picked for the stencils were definitely inspired by a quilt that I received when I was pregnant with my daughter. As soon as I saw this print shop duo, my brain immediately went to baby themed cards because of Vera's quilt. The third stencil is going to add details to the flowers and I used Tailored Expressions Honey Ink for that layer and then the fourth stencil, the last stencil, fills in the stems and leaves and I used Spearmint Ink by Tailored Expressions for that stencil. And here's a quick look at all the panels that I made. I made light and dark panels so I had a nice range of um, colors to work with when I started putting my panels together. I'm going to die cut them with the patchwork die. Now this die die cuts one piece but is designed so you can easily snip the squares apart. So that's what I'm going to do with all the panels. Um, each square has a stitch detail so when you um, glue them all together it gives your panel um, a really pretty quilted look. Absolutely, I, I absolutely love this concept. Once all the panels were snipped apart, I put them in um, little piles and then I built a design on a white die cut panel. And once I liked the way that the panel looked, I glued the pieces down and I ended up making quite a few panels. So this did take a couple hours to do, which I didn't mind at all. I had a big cup of coffee next to me and I had a, one of my favorite podcasts turned on. So it made the time go by really fast. Here's the final look at the finished panels. I picked my two favorite ones to make cards with and I set the other panels aside for future projects. Moving on to the cards, I've already attached the quilted backgrounds onto card bases and I'm now inking up hearts that I die cut um, using wood sliced heart dies. I'm inking them with Distress Oxide inks. I picked Vintage Photo, Tea Dye, and Antique Linen to use. And I'm keeping the inking a bit messy so the wood hearts look rustic. Once I finished inking the pieces, I glued them together and then attached them to the card. The sentiment is from Sentiment Sweet Thinking of You stamp set, which I stamped with brown ink and then die cut it with the coordinating die. And now I'm attaching a Curio Spring Findings Blossom to finish the card. My second card is a baby themed card, of course. I just, I couldn't help it. I picked a sentiment from Balloon Bouquet stamp set. Um, I stamped it with fresh pink ink and then die cut it with the small deco frame die. I also die cut a fishtail banner to put behind the sentiment with a crimped slimline banner die. And then to finish the card, I used thin foam squares to attach the sentiment onto the banner for a little dimension. And then I used glue to attach it onto the card. You can find full details on these new products and on the rest of the release over on the Greedery blog. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope I was able to share some ideas and inspiration using these two new products together.
If you'd like to see more projects from the Greetery in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for joining me. Take care, friends.